Okay, so let's look on some options, properties, and advanced material editor, and primarily on the bottom right here. So first we have a color and alpha. It's where we can specify color distribution and alpha distribution for materials as well. You notice in color mode right here, we have a mapped picture and procedural color. Many times I'm using the mapped pictures as a text. And it's kind of very nice because I'm using a filter of force to create it tireless uh, images, creating filters from there and after I can export. When you have it in map pictures, you can just go ahead open. Let's create it some bitmap, for example, all material. We'll click OK. You can see how it's applied very easy. We have it all the standard options where we can invert. We can correct gamma if you input for a linear workflow. We can rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, delete it or upload it another one. We also can apply the color blend with alpha or with mask. To apply this, you just select, select the color you want applied. Actually, something very similar to what we applied with the alpha on the leaves. You can apply amount and if you have a color mask, you can also enable color mask in this case. So let me disable. The interpolation type is kind of very important. By default it says binary. If you have it none, you'll notice quite a bit um, pixelization going. So you want at least binary or you can use it normalized or by cubicle. They're a little bit slower but they provide better if better kind of um, smoothing between pixels or uh, some other distortions from JPEG files if you're using those. Okay, also, you notice right here we have an image scale. We can increase or decrease image scale as well as image offset. You can also res, uh, rotate the image if needed on specify angle. This work very well if you create another layer. And for example, you want maybe place logo on specific um, area when you use the alpha. So it's a very useful um, addition and you can manipulate with image quite a bit. You also have a color correction, overall color. So it's easiest way, for example, if you want to convert a little bit to the blue to apply it. So it's overlay correction in the color. Um, as well, you have a different type of mapping. Most time you probably want to keep it on automatic with some exceptions. Um, if you have a UV layer, you probably want to switch automatic UV or a flat face cylinder or a different type if you have it some specific um, shape of the object and automatic does not work well so you can try it and convert them. You also can work with different type of tiling. Currently it doesn't really uh, you can see different but overall you can also have it from repeat to mirror or do once. For example if you have a logo you probably want to go to used once on the tiling and apply logo on specific areas with a rotation image or maybe with offset or with other effect. Okay, this is if you're using the mapped picture. You can also switch and use it the procedural type of the colors. For the procedural, it's driven by the functions. Even right here you not see it, but we can go and edit function. In an edit function you can see how this connected when you use the color and we connect to specific node and using special uh, function or other effect to creating and driving color distribution inside uh, our function. They also on the other on the right side we have an alpha distribution. You can use the same things as a function if you want distribution or image. If you want to use the image you need to go and edit it and just add option for the project texture inside the filter editor or if you need it you can apply it this simple function for example Perlin noise in this case we'll just apply this alpha distribution you can see how it's distributed now on our material so let me switch this one to something like red so we can see better and a grass set to zero. So you can see at this point how the distribution work by with alpha production. If you just double click you can preload it already created and work this way. As well you have options to work with the filters. 
So you can modify it, adjust it, and this is very similar uh, filters as you're using in other um, views. So it's very standard type of interface. So as long as you're familiar, you can modify and know how the filters work as well. Let's go reset this filter. Uh, you can right click and go save, load or preload these filters from already pre-created. Double time click will open also visual browser for the filter so you can select some already pre-made. As an example, let's select this one. And right here you can see we'll use the equalization. Quantize so it's our effect will apply. This is um alpha production and for the color production also we have function scales which is can work independently from each other and the function will go from x y and z on all of them